Hey everybody, I have a quick video here for you today, and this, what I'm going to show you is a video made shareable by this channel here, UNC Archaeology, you can give them a sub if you want, they have some pretty cool videos, but anyway, this has to do with the end of the last ice age, and they even dated 11,500 years ago, this is a date I have talked about uh, in many of my videos, and something truly devastating happened to North America at this time, at the end of the Younger Dryas, but, uh, this goes over the megafauna that was uh, living in North Carolina at the time. And we lost many large species of animals all at once. And I'm going to be making a video in the near future about uh, this time period and what was going on. And I'm just kind of cataloging different accounts and different studies. So I'll have that for you in the near future. But in case any of you are not aware, uh, Graham Hancock and Randall Carlson were on the Joe Rogan experience yesterday, and this is a fascinating three hours talking about this time period at the end of the last ice age and uh, evidence that is now being recognized of this truly catastrophic event that we are just getting a grip on. And there was many different species of, of animals living in North America at the time that went away all at once. And, uh, Randall Carlson states this is probably the worst extinction event we have had on our planet in the last 5 million years. And it happened, you know, about 12,000 years ago. So I just think this is worth sharing. And it's just kind of a cool little video. It talks about the animals that were living uh, in North Carolina at the time on a totally different side of the continent than really uh, what Graham Carlson and Rand Graham Hancock and Randall Carlson were talking about. But we lost all these species all at once, and it really transformed North America into the New World. And it is this old world that uh, this video talks about. Hope you think this is interesting. Uh, 20,000 and 10,000 years ago, or 11,500, depending, um, there were a lot of animals that would be called megafauna. And uh, we ordinarily think of megafauna as animals like uh, larger than a deer or larger than a bear, something that is really big. So what characterizes North Carolina uh, 15,000 years ago was a great abundance of huge herbivores. So that we had giant bison, we had at least two different kinds of horses, uh, we had tapers, uh, pretty husky looking animals, you know, they're compactly made. Uh, we had two different kinds of hogs, wild hogs here. Um, my goodness, we had camels, uh, we had uh, sloths, and some of the ground sloths were absolutely huge. Uh, they're um, probably in the range of small elephants, i.e. three tons, three ton animals, and they're all over North Carolina. Um, the thing that really is spectacular, as far as I can see, from my point of view, is we had three different kinds of elephants in North Carolina. Uh, now, an elephant goes about five metric tons, four to five to six metric tons, depending on how large uh, an animal we're dealing with. We had prairie mammoths. We had woolly mammoths. And we had mastodons, which lived in forests. 